Right, just carrying on the video, since I've walked here last, and I, it's within the last year, probably within the last six months even, this has changed drastically with the clipping and tree clearing. Obviously the big trees are still standing at the moment, but they're clearing, clearing, showing the, all the stonework of the hill fort. And they want to clear all this, they can show all the features of the hill fort. But look at the size of this big tree. You can't just let anyone chop this sort of things. It's got to be done properly, you know, and it's going to cost money. You know? When you get these um, people that cut trees down. But you can see, just look at it all being chopped down, laid down, chopped down. All the way along here. Holly bushes back there. Some lovely, fresh holly bushes cut down. Um, more of the hill fort exposed. The thing is, is the hill fort really at risk being exposed like this? I mean, this is all from the hill fort. These stones here that have tumbled down. You know? Is that tree going to be cut? Are these trees all going to go here? There's lots and lots of evidence of fresh cutting, I would say, in the last week. And I don't think they're supposed to be doing a lot at the moment. But here, look, here's a good example. By this tree here, if I zoom in, you can see a stump. Fresh cutting, look. How fresher can you get than that? A healthy plant, chopped. And you've got these old trees that probably have bats in them. Their vines cut. Where insects that feed the bats would live within, amongst the vines have got a useful function. Yeah, there's a lot of it going on all here now. Big time. I wouldn't be surprised if bats don't live in that tree there. Or did. They live, tend to live in the ones that are getting a bit old. There will be natural wastage and trees dying of natural dyingness, you know, of a tree. But yeah, this has been clear. Look at all the stones here showing up. Yeah, loads been done here. Loads, but I want to go all the way along, although I want to go up there. Um I'm just going to turn off again. There's a small series of videos I'm doing just to take a picture of this scene. Now, now when you come up here, right, I've just placed on a video from the 5th of, um, 7th of January. But now when you come up here, this is uh, a month later, there's just been so much rapid cutting, clipping. It's like, it's, it's almost like a frenzy going on. They're trying to get as much done before the birds start nesting. I think that's one of the things. There's a lot done down here. Yeah, since I was here last. I've got all I've got the other video I did here, the last time I walked here. I've got quite a detailed video from down here. Yeah, look at all this here. Look at all this being clipped and chopped. Look at that tree there, stripped by his vines. You can just see it everywhere. You know, it's, it's a different sort of chaos where it's been clipped and pushed aside. Oh, the helicopters out again landed on our lawns the other day. Is that a rescue one or police? Rescue. Let's rescue. A lovely view over there, isn't it? Yeah, this is this is all this has all been done. That's why I come down this way, see what they're doing. God yeah, look at it. Stripped bare. You never used to be able to see see any of that before now. Oh. Alright, hold on a minute. It's 
somebody can. Right, I've come back on. I've just taken loads of pictures because it's almost like a frenzy of clipping that has gone on, I'd say, in the last week. That's why I came down this backside because it's just like a frenzy. I've all got these loads and loads of clipping. Um, everywhere you look, will this big tree be safe in the future? Oh, everywhere you go, clip, 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 clip. They're just going absolutely berserk. A frenzy. As I walk through this, a place you could never normally walk very easily, and you can't now, is also dangerous because you've got stumps sticking up everywhere. Here you've got the exposure of the hill fort, and I've walked, I should be walking up there in a minute, but I'm deliberately walking through this bit. I'm deliberately walking through here just to show, so you can see just how extensive this chopping and clipping has become. You know, it's almost like there's an army of people up here, but you, you rarely see it anyone. I, the most you ever see is two or three. But they've got someone... I mean, look at that tree up there, look. That's been clipped. Is that going to be chopped completely eventually? Look, they've got all... loads of its, its branches. And there was a tree a minute ago. I felt quite sorry for it. It's a lovely little tree. And uh, they've really, really chopped at it. It's, it's a healthy tree. Now this is a natural old one that's obviously in decay. This one here. And it would fall naturally of its own accord. But look at here, it's like someone's chopping for runner bean sticks, isn't it? Look! Chop, 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 chop. And there's the, what they're trying to show, the whole of Western. I mean, okay, clearing a bit of the vegetation. It's very difficult to know because once you sort of, you don't want to take sides, you, you're trying to remain hopeful with all of it, if you know what I mean. You're trying to remain hopeful, but you actually have to come in here like this, which the public don't really see, and see how much and how extensive it is to get this effect where they're clearing. They have gone crazy over the past week, I would say. I'd seen somebody up here anyway. I have seen people up here, but I thought they weren't supposed to do any more from the 5th of January. Nah, <sighs> they bloody are. They have been doing loads. And I'm deliberately walking in this clipped area. It's not clipped, it's chopped. It's at. Loads and loads of wildlife vegetation is being destroyed. <sighs> loads of it. That's why I've decided to walk in it. Then you can get the feeling of it. When I put this on online, you'll be able to see exactly how I'm walking. I'm walking amongst chopped, hacked raked because once they've cleared all this whether they'll leave these trees I don't know you'll be able to see the you'll be able to see it more and they'll probably want to chop all that down I was going to keep on the path but it's actually better for me to walk through it like this this is the extent that these volunteers have been doing. I don't know if they come out, maybe they come out at night, who knows when they do it. They have done a lot. Like I said, it's like a frenzy of chopping and clipping as I try to walk through the disaster under my feet. Look, everywhere you go, chopping. Lovely shrubs and bushes cut to expose a pile of stones. When we're trying to save our planet, they're chopping and hacking, and they want to take the big trees as well. And I think they'd enjoy doing it. That's the sort of impression I get of them. 
Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually glad I came amongst the clipping and chopping area. It's only by actually getting in it that you can actually see, and I'll come up along the top in a minute, you can see the extent. Holly bushes here, hack down. Right, they're just hacking everything, everything. This all needs to be recorded for posterity. It's unbelievable, it really is. I've decided I might go up now. I might go up a bit. It's not easy for me to walk through this devastated area. No one out today. Word gets out. See, I've just seen a woman with the... I recognise her. I reckon it was her that I've seen out here before. They've probably got people going out with their mobile saying, no, somebody's coming. <sighs> look at it, though. I stand here. Look. Look at it all. This is a massive area that they've already c cleared. This massive goes all, all on and on. I see people are walking up the top. Five or ten people up there. They ain't seen. They ain't down here. I'm going to turn off take some pictures. Re-emphasising. It was like a frenzy of cutting and clipping that they've done. Um, even in a week. I mean, all this mound here is more exposed now. Um, although it's good to see the archaeology in the flesh, if you like. I just wonder if it's going to be more exposed to damage and from humans and the weather. Look at that. What, if they're going to take all these trees down, it's going to be bare up here. It's going to be cold. And they'll probably think, well, that's all right, because we don't really want too many people coming up here anyway. I keep them away from our hill fort. And it's not just their hill fort. It's all of our hill fort. And we all care about the hill fort as well. It's not as if we don't care about it. Anyway, I'm... Uh, I'm talking about a frenzy of cutting. A frenzy. Since I was here last, I walked along here not long ago. Not long ago, there was one bloke round about here, cutting, stripping. He was he was very active. And um, I'm just videoing again. I think I might have put this one on. Um, not long ago as well. I think I might have put this on. Yeah, someone's going down the steps now. Um, yeah, I remember. Yeah, so I'm glad I went along that bit because by walking in it, that's when you can see the damage. If you just stand here and look at it, although it looks a lot, when you're in it, you can see all the types of bushes and shrubs that have been clipped and chopped that are perfectly healthy and they provide a habitat for, for creatures. But a lot of people as well will like it stripped back like this. They want to see the fort. It's the way it's been handled. It's been handled badly how they've done it without without really proper consent you know they, they've just come in and, and, and basically bulldozed the place and once these trees are gone well once these trees are gone I'm just going to weave up over here a bit now places you could never walk we're not without well, in the winter, yeah. In the winter, yeah, you could. But, um, here's a track up here. I'm coming up further to the top now. There's the, 
to get an impression. I'm not going to go right down there. I can see other people coming up here now. I'll carry on videoing for a minute. Look how wide the track's getting. But here we go, folks. Piles and piles of sticks everywhere. People will start walking everywhere. There's a huge gang coming now. I need to get away. Oh. Go over there. Get away from them. big group of people, I just let them all go by. <sighs> See that could have been a home for bats once, that tree there. Um, I'll just go down a little bit further, let them go ahead. This is a, this was once um, a very hidden pathway <laughs> and it might be again in the summer, who knows. I think they just want to rake it back right to the stones. I'm in such a dif difficult dilemma because I do love archaeology. It is a dilemma for me. I've done archaeology courses. It is such a dilemma. But the only, I mean it's awful if they cut these down. The only thing is as long as they just keep to the the 10 acres or what or 10% what they said but even then I don't I ain't really happy with it I can't say yeah go ahead and do it no I can't there we go over right over to Wells over there nice and sh sunny it looks over there doesn't it And of course eventually if they want to cut all this down you'll be able to see it even clearer and all this will be gone, it'll just be dirt and stones with a couple of trees I think, I think they're going to keep a couple. Right then, I think um, it is quite cold now, I am going to go along here but I videoed this not long ago so over and out for now. Right, another video. It's absolute devastation and it's a frenzy of clipping and chopping, especially along these banks here, my goodness. Um, you can, I've never seen, well I've never seen it as clear as this, you can only ever see in like small little pieces through to Western. All this going all the way along. I've walked in where all the cutting has taken place as well to get a feel of how they've been slashing their way through in like a frenzy. And they've done this. I've been up here every week, you know, for ages, every week, come up here. And it changes in days. It, I've been all around here not that long ago, within the last month. And this has just gone crazy up here. It's a frenzy. It really is. I just can't get over how bad it is. It's so awful. Look at it now. This is worse than when I last come. But nobody cares because people want to be on the side of the winner. That comes into things, doesn't it? People will change sides. 
And there, I can't see anyone knights in shining armour or, or shiny stars coming to rescue the, our wood. Nah. I'm hoping, you can, you can always hope, that it would happen. One by one, these these trees are going to start disappearing, aren't they? You know, they're all they'll start on the next size up soon. You wait. They're not supposed to though. It's not. Nothing's been agreed. Nothing. I think I can see a big tree down over there. Yeah, there's another big one gone. God, he's gone. He's still alive. I me go over and have a look. But look at it, it's devastation, isn't it? Isn't it devastating? There's little birds hopping about here. We're thinking, oh, I used to nest here. You can hear them tweetering, wondering what to do. Blackbirds, sparrows. They're all hopping about. Loads of them. Getting their nesting material. And they're thinking, are we going to be able to nest around here or not? They're taking all the small bushes away. I never, I always think to myself, well, you don't need to do any more videos, Sheila. Not really. And then every time I come up here, there's more devastation. It's just absolutely horrific. There's a big tree gone. I think so. He might have been gone before. Might have been gone that one. It just it's look at it. Birds, blackbirds there, twittering. Birds calling out. Lots of them. And they normally nest here and I feel so sad when I'm up here now. I'm sorry, but I do. I gotta keep recording though. Gotta tell the story. Because one day the trees could come back in the future. It might take them for now. You hear the birds calling? Everyone's making nests. These are their old friends, these trees. There's a, someone will probably cut that down just a spite. I can see that happening. That one there. Someone will probably hack it down just for something to do. Yeah, I've just put a video on from January, a month ago, right? That has changed drastically since 5th of January. Or whenever it was, I was up her 7th. That is unbelievable change. Obviously not this bit. This bit has been... This is, used to be very beautiful, by the way, here, with all the different flowers. They just want to put this grass down. It's going to be barren. For now. Here we go, old tree. you got my sister there. They're not totally alone of your type. Won't be long before the motorbikes start coming up here. Once you start clearing it, you'll get a different group of people up here, to be quite honest. This, this fort won't be safe. Now you're going to get loads of people up here having picnics. It's peace will go. The peace will go. Over and out. 